quick screencast for how students upload their assignments. But first note the warning in the front here about Internet Explorer 8. You must use Firefox or Chrome if that's the only version of Internet Explorer you have. I'm logged on here as a student, Alfred E. Newman. I'm going to go to my courses and in this case I'm going to go to a level 1 French but it could be anything. In my first week I see I've got some work to do here so I click on that. And as with any assignment you'll be given instructions, it'll be very different each time but in this one here the student's got to put some answers in and then upload it. So let's say I finish my task, your task might be something else, a PowerPoint or a video or what have you. Make sure you save it onto your computer. So I'm going to put it into a folder for my VC French. And it might be a good idea to add your name to the end of it so the teacher can see it on the other side. So I'm going to go Alfred. So I've finished my assignment and I'm ready to upload it. So here I see Term 1, Week 1 completed work. I'll click on that and I can see nothing's been submitted. So I'm going to add my submission. And all I have to do is go to my file, so remember where it was, it was in level 1 French, and drag it into that space there. And that's it. Once I've clicked Save Changes, you'll notice there is a place where you can add comments if you want. The comment will be related to that submission. You save your comment, but you don't have to add a comment, it's just if you want to add a comment. And that's it. So I'm going to go back to my course. And your teacher will be sent an email something like this saying that an assignment has been uploaded. You'll get an email notifying you that the teacher's graded the work. So you come back to your course, click on the assignment. You'll notice that nothing's changed here apart from the status has changed to graded. And when you go down, you'll see the teacher's comment and you'll see any response file. So if you click on that file, then you'll see any comments left by the teacher. I'll go back to the course and show you that when you click on your grades, you'll get a summary of all the assignments. So there's the teacher's comment. In this case, it's either you've completed it or you have to submit it. So there's no real grade as such. If there was a different type of grade, you would see it here. You would see it as a percentage there. So the grade book will be a good way to check progress through the course as more and more tasks are added. 